All right, so this is the third read, read to write. Um, so in this one, you're going to be answering the question, what does it take to be a good inventor? Write a paragraph to tell what the author thinks. Look for words that the author uses that are clues to her opinion. Then write a paragraph to tell what you think it takes to be a good inventor. Support your your answer from, uh, details from the text. All right, so you're going back and looking at uh, the, the clues that the author gives you what she thinks a good inventor is. What what does it take to be a good inventor? So you want to focus on those traits that the author is highlighting uh, all, of all these inventors. So maybe pick an, an inventor or um, you know, maybe summarize all of the inventors. Um, some traits that the author says that, that these inventors had that, that made them a good inventor. Uh, remember that we're talking about um, a text that highlights accidents that um, that these inventors had. So um, is that part of what the author thinks <clears throat> um, a good inventor is? Um, so you know you can get a good idea of what the the author thinks by reading read those first two paragraphs really closely uh, what do you think about when you imagine an inventor you probably think about some brilliant person working day and night in his or her lab or workshop many inventors do work this way that's how the airplane and light bulb were invented so in that first paragraph she's telling you that she thinks you know, inventors need to be brilliant okay but then she's kind of hinting that sometimes inventors, you know, being brilliant is, is not enough. Um, and then it goes on to say, but some inventors create things by accident. In fact, they don't even know they have created something until they actually see it. Many of your favorite foods were invented totally by accident. Here are some surprising stories about how some of these foods were created. So right in those two paragraphs, there is two traits or two um, things that the, the author is saying that a good inventor needs to be. Uh, you know, they, the first one is rather obvious. He's, the, feels, she feels that the, the um, inventors need to be brilliant, okay? really smart you know they need to know even when they make things by accident they need to know when they have created something special right but then it goes on to say but some inventors create things by accident so it's kind of saying that the um that that inventors also need to be lucky okay so you're going to um write your first paragraph on what the author thinks an inventor should be, and then you're going to write uh, a paragraph on what you think an inventor should be. So the first ones that you're going to have, need to have, the first paragraph you're going to have to have those details from the text. But then in paragraph number two, it's not necessarily important to have uh, details from the text, but you can maybe highlight your, your, uh, your favorite inventor, you know, um, Bill Gates or, you know, somebody that invented an, uh, something that you, you really like, what, you know, why did you, why do you like that person? Um, what traits do they have? Okay. All right. Uh, good luck.